Hi everyone and welcome to making a cork Santa hat. So what first thing you want to do is take out all of your corks from your bag and the next step will be taking the corks and laying them out in our pattern. So you're going to do a group of five together, a second group of five, you're going to glue them along the side and then stick them together. Then you're going to do a group of four, three, two, and then you'll have some extra corks uh, for some other purposes that we're not going to glue together right now. So you're actually going to take your two sets of five and you're going to lay a layer of glue on top of each of the corks because you're going to stick them on top of each other. So this is going to form the base or the white of the Santa hat. So you're just going to glue them on together. Okay, and just hold them for a second just to let the glue set a little bit um, and dry. The next thing you're going to want to do is take your group of five and you're going to lay those <clears throat> not on top. You're actually going to lay them in the little crevice of the second uh, set of the, the six that are down here. So for that, you're just going to take and do a little bit on each side. Okay, so everything will stick together. Now you can use hot glue if you have a hot glue gun at home. You can use regular glue. Um, just depends on what you guys have available. Um, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue on with that pattern where we're going to lay our four on top of our five. Okay, so um, these are fun because you can use these as um, table decorations. Um, you can put them with other um, Santa's hats just to kind of have a little bit of a three-dimensional Santa hat. Uh, so there's lots of different ways that you can use these craft product, these crafts um, to do your holiday decorating. Okay, and then finally we're going to put the ones that are two on top. Ooh, running out of glue. Okay, so you should have something that looks similar if you made the Christmas tree earlier. Uh, you will have something similar to what the Christmas tree looks like. Now for the next step, you are going to want to, if you're using hot glue, be a little bit more careful. So I'm actually gonna tip the camera down so we can see the top. Um, you're going to, you can place the first one um, in the little crevice, just like you did in the Christmas tree. Okay. Next, we're going to do the uh, little tail part of the tree or the Santa hat. I'm sorry. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to put a thin layer of glue and you're just going to kind of instead of putting it right on top, you're just going to uh, put it a little off center. So you're going to want to hold that there for a little bit longer just to make sure that the glue has set a little bit more. Okay. And then you're going to take your next one and you're going to do the same thing. So for this part, I definitely would recommend uh, if you have a glue gun, that might be the best way to go about doing this because you don't want to um, not have a strong enough hold with your glue. Or if you have some something like Gorilla Glue or some sort of glue like that, that may work a little bit better. So you're just going to want to make sure you have it with a good hold, okay. And then what we're gonna do is once all your glue is kind of dry and set, you're going to be able to paint, okay. So these two bottom rows, you are going to paint white. Then the five, four, three, two, one, 
you will also, you will paint red. And then these two, you will paint white. The other fun thing you can do, and it is included in your kit, is you can use some of our cotton batting. So I'm just gonna pull some of this apart, make a little ball with it, and put a new glue stick in there because mine fell out. And you're going to put some glue. You're gonna be very careful if you're using hot glue with this because the heat will come through the um, cotton batting. And you're just going to hold it and stick it on. I definitely recommend painting before, especially the red, before you put on the cotton batting, um, just to make sure you aren't ending up with um, the red on the cotton as well. So then you can also take it and rip some more pieces off. And I haven't painted mine yet, so I'm not going to attach this one because I think it'll be pretty easy to avoid that right there. But then I'm going to glue some more right here. So it's a nice and puffy uh, bottom to your hat, just like a regular Santa hat would be. So then I would just paint these right here glue on this. You're more than welcome to also paint these white just in case um, it's a little bit thinner depending on how fluffy you want your Santa hat to be. Okay, so you can um, add this to it just to give it a little bit more dimension. Um, once everything is dry, you can definitely still paint your Santa hat uh, the red color. If you want to write ho 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 on there, you can. So feel free to decorate however you want to with your Santa hat. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed making your cork Santa hat. Happy crafting.